There are certain things in Islam I don't really agree about. This thing about how women get less than the man. What's that all about? Wait, what? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Like you, I too was shocked to hear this coming from a Muslim person. How can somebody say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not fair? Why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do such a thing to women in a time where we know that Islam might be attacked through this topic? Wannabe advocates of women's rights will try to attack Islam from that point. And little do they know that if they were to just dig deeper, they would understand a little bit. So over the next few minutes, inshallah ta'ala, I will talk about how actually Islam is fairer, in fact, more fair to the woman than the man when it comes to inheritance. Debate after debate, people will come and quote the Quran and say, oh, well, in your Quran, you say... When they try to come and attack Islam or try to attempt to attack Islam, they'll go and focus on this ayah. In the Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لِلذَّكَرِ مِثْلَ حَضْلٌ تَيَّنِ The thing is, you just can't take it on face. You just can't take those words out of context. You've got to understand the philosophy behind it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decree on how the inheritance is divided in Islam is based on three different things. The first one is the degree of closeness. The closer you are to the person who's passed away, the more you naturally inherit. Then there's this generation gap. So essentially in Islam, uh, the grandson will inherit more than his father or like a granddaughter will inherit more than her mum. And the last one is a financial burden imposed on a person. So as a male person in the family, you have more of a financial burden or it, I wouldn't say burden. In fact, it's an honor. You'll have more of a financial responsibility towards the females in your family. And plus, when it comes to marriage, you'd have to pay the dowry, you'd have to con you have to provide, you'd have to do everything. So you have an obligation as a man towards the ladies in your life. And that's why you get a touch little more, but not always. So when you logically explore this whole inheritance part, you'd realize that actually Islam sides more with the woman than the man. Just the adala rabbaniya, it's just Allah's justice. So when you factor in the three different values said earlier, and you map out all the different case scenarios, you realize that the man gets more than the lady in four scenarios only. And there are 10 other scenarios where the female will get more than the male. Oh, and just one more. There are scenarios where the female will inherit, and the male will not inherit. And let me just add one more thing to that backdrop story. In Islam, the female in the family is not obligated, and I say not obligated, to spend any of her money on anything. She is not obligated. Anything she does, it's a contribution from her own will. All the financial burden, everything, lies on the man. With that being said, obviously we can't go into every single scenario. Time will not permit. However, resources are plentiful out there. And going back to the scenario where there's four different occasions where the man will inherit more, that's when he has a financial he obligation to look after the females in the house. And so when he's got a sister who's not, when he's got a sister that he has got to look after, and they say Islam is not fair to women. So the next time somebody pulls out this whole inheritance card, you can just tell them, listen, go and build a better understanding of the topic before you use that card. Him or her, thousands before him have tried that card. Didn't really work. Zakmullah Khair, thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you all next week. If you like this, do consider subscribing so you get notifications for my next episode, which hopefully inshallah will be next week. If you find this content useful, do share this message to others so they can benefit inshallah. Until then, I think YouTube thinks that this video is really suitable for you. I'm not really sure why. Assalamu alaikum.